Hey guys, it's the Gaming Mermaid, and welcome to another episode of The Sims 4 Powerpuff Girls, Power of 4, and more! So, as you can see in the last episode, Bunny finally gave birth to her new baby Powerpuff Girl, and now she is off to school, and I asked you guys what we should name the new Powerpuff Girl, and you guys gave me so many amazing suggestions. The one that I did see the most was Bonnie and Bella, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and have poor Harley here go inside. Hold on, let me just make sure that she actually goes inside so the poor thing isn't stuck out here and then we're gonna have to put bunny to go to school <laughs> because they're still teenagers so in this episode i think we are gonna go ahead and age up all of the powerpuff girls and ratty rough boys to be young adults so that we don't have to worry about them going to school anymore and so that we can uh, focus on you know taking care of you know the lovelies and uh the babies that are happening so when they get back home we are gonna age up serenity we're gonna re name her and then we are gonna have maybe they can have like a little play date with Belle so I think that would be pretty cool actually you know it would be interesting because Belle and Bella <laughs> that would be really cute they could be like twins all right let me go ahead and make sure that they all study hard let me check on the baby oh wait <laughs> the baby's disappeared so I will be right back with you guys when they come back home I was also getting suggestions about having Wenji and Max have children but I'm not sure if I want to do that in this series unless Unless you guys want to see just like a separate like create a sim video if if when G and Max had children what they might look like let me know if you guys would like to see that but um I don't know if I will be doing that in this series because it I, it's really supposed to be for the Powerpuff Girls I just did a little cameo of Wenji since she did voice bliss and everything so let me know if you guys would like to see that so since everybody is still at school I figured we might as well check up on little Belle over here looking absolutely adorable supposedly she is at daycare I don't know how because she's clearly still here and she is thinking she's doing the thinking skill which is fantastic let me go ahead and make sure that she's doing quite well. Riley is here. Does she have work? When does she have work? In three days. Okay, so she has plenty of time. You know what we should do? We should go ahead and try to teach her some things such as potty training. Yes, why don't we go ahead and have her potty train little Belle. And uh, how is the professor doing? I haven't checked on him in quite a while. He is doing quite well. Oh no, he's late for work. What are you doing? What are you doing? Watch the TV. Go to work. You're the only one that's making buddy around here. Seriously. Oh my god is ready to get fired and stuff oh do we have mail wow we have bills great <laughs> oh no why is she crying why are you crying little one oh no she's sad left behind well he's gotta go to work to pay your bills gotta pay those diapers seriously anyways why don't you know we're gonna have you work hard because we want you to do well and, and work okay so she can finally start getting body trained that would be great so that she can function as a human being anyways so i'd say that they're doing pretty well i'm gonna go ahead and quickly check up on um bliss i think they're going to be at work but we should at least try and check up on little baby Wenji. Okay, so apparently everybody is missing work. Everybody is missing school. Baby Wenji, go ahead and go to school. Oh my gosh, they are going to be failing miserably. You got to work hard, got to study hard. Why are you sad? <gasps> He's sad because of him. Oh no, he's feeling the guilt. Well, I guess you should leave him a sugar skull offering or something. Try to make yourself feel better about that and he's still got to do mischievous interactions wow me hi how are you doing comforting hug oh look at him he's like please him please forgive me for doing this i only did it because of my job i didn't really want you to go oh me what are we gonna do i don't know well at least i still have you me at least for a little bit while longer anyways he has work in six hours and he needs to do mischievous interactions can we do that with the with the cat i don't think so okay um oh we have to actually go outside oh no um we gotta find people around there's literally nobody walking around this is a problem can we go in here oh maybe oh maybe there will be people at the at the at the uh, at the uh, bar why can't i speak english we can invite caleb because he hates us anyway yes we'll invite people that already don't like us that should be easy enough let's go over there and what a surprise nobody <laughs> nobody joined me <laughs> uh <laughs> this is awkward uh it says no one lives here well obviously because it's a bar is it uh is it i, I um I, I, th I don't think this is a bar, guys. Uh, um, and nobody joined me, so that's pretty rude. All 
right, well, let's see if we could try to find people around. Oh, look who I found over here. It's Buttercup. And you know what? I think we should try and get to know Buttercup. And also, we should switch control to Buttercup. Look how far away she is, my goodness. Some of you guys were saying that you wanted me to focus on Buttercup next. So we might just go ahead and do that. Hey, girl. Hey, how are you doing? I need to do some mischievous interactions. Perfect. Excuse me? Is she yelling at Buttercup? Oh, no, she did not. Let's do a rude introduction to her. Excuse me? Excuse me? My sister-in-law, you're going to be rude to her? Well, I'm going to be rude to you, ma'am. And you are going to be my victim for my mischievous interactions. How do you like that? Yeah, I don't think you like that. <laughs> Let's start a preposterous rumor. Pickpocket her. And we almost got ran over by a car. <gasps> Wendy is back home from school. That is fantastic. So we'll have to go ahead and check on her shortly. Alrighty, so it looks like Bunny and Buddy are back home from school. And our little baby has returned from daycare. So there she goes. So I think it is about time that we go ahead and inch her on up into a toddler. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Uh-oh. What are you doing? Are you hungry? Oh, no. we got to take a bath. The poor thing. Why don't we go ahead and have you give bath? And let's check up on the... Oh, oh, oh my gosh. She just disappeared and I was like, what's going on? Oh, oh my gosh. She is so adorable. She is so adorable. <gasps> Look at our little baby. She is the cutest thing I have ever seen in my life. Serenity has aged up. So let's see. She is the daughter of Bunny. She was kind of a science experiment gone wrong, but she is still here and we uh, love her so much. So I think she will be wild She's gonna be a wild child. Oh yeah, there she goes. <gasps> she is so cute. I love this outfit, but the colors gotta change because it's just crazy colors. She's looking like a Christmas tree over here, but she looks absolutely adorable. Look how cute. Look how cute she is. Oh my gosh. The cutest thing ever. Okay, now that we are good to go with her, look at her, she's like looking at her bob. <gasps> look how adorable she is. So cute. How cute is that? Okay, so now we are ready to go ahead and, ooh, she could dance with Serenity. How cute is that? We're gonna modify her and create XM, give her a little bit of a makeover, and we should also age up Bunny and Buddy. You know what, let's go back. I'm gonna go back to do some cheats <laughs> and then we can go ahead and age everybody up and then I'll have to do the same with all the other Powerpuff Girls as well. So I think what I will do is have a party at the original Powerpuff Girl household so that we can go ahead and do that. And what is he doing? He is watching his new little baby. Why don't you give a bath to this poor little one over here, please? She is super happy about that. They're growing up. Oh my gosh, look at her. <gasps> she is the cutest thing ever. So cute. Can you imagine her and Belle being the best of friends? So let's go ahead and do this really quickly. And now we should be good to go to modify her and create a sim and age everybody on up. Alrighty, so here we have Bunny. Let's go ahead and move on to little Serenity. First things first, we're gonna rename her. So I think since we have Belle in the Powerpuff Girl household with the professor, I think her name should be Bella. And then they could be like twins, except they're not like literal twins, but they are related. I just thought it would be cute to have them kind of like twins, which means that we should try and make them look kind of similar. Now I know that Belle has like really long hair like this. Well, since Bella over here has uh, blonde hair naturally, I'm gonna keep her hair blonde. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. So adorable. I actually really like this on her. Oh, how cute is that? And we can have a little dirty blonde hair. Oh, so cute, so cute. I actually love this on her so much. She's gonna be kind of a girly tomboy. I don't know if that makes any sense, but we're gonna go with it. And let's see, can we give her some skin details here? Is there anything here that I might like? Kind of like that one. <gasps> we could give her little freckles. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Yes, we're gonna give her freckles. She looks so cute with that on. <gasps> So adorable. And then we'll also give her some eyelashes. <gasps> Look at her. She looks so cute. Oh my gosh. She is adorable. Absolutely adorable. Now, let's see what colors we have over here. I was kind of thinking of giving her a yellow look so that she matches Belle. Mm, I don't like that yellow color on her. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so cute on her. Okay, I think I like the green a lot more on her, to be honest. <gasps> I love her. She's so adorable. <gasps> Little Bella. 
and I actually love her outfit already so I'm gonna keep it like that oh my gosh this uh this is a little crazy looking let's see what does the green one look like though Ooh, the green one looks fantastic can you imagine a little toddler with like ripped jeans I don't think so young one what about a little skirt oh so cute so cute with the little jeans oh my gosh so adorable okay now let's see if we can give her some tights that would be a great oh my gosh oh, little knee high socks so cute oh her hair her hair color changed i do like this hair color but um i want you to have your natural hair there we go yay oh, so adorable love her she is so cute all right moving on to the sleepwear let's see what we have over here change her hair color once again all right all right let's see can we maybe give her uh, like a little dress like a little nightgown oh my gosh how cute is that <gasps> she looks so adorable with that on oh my goodness this one's so cute too <gasps> i love this one we're gonna go with that we're gonna give her a little knee-high socks and um we're also going to go ahead and oh uh, no we're not gonna Actually, that's super cute as it is, so I think we're gonna go with that for her sleepwear. And next up, last but not least, her party wear. Let's go ahead and change her hair color once again. And then I gave her some eyelashes. There we go. Oh my gosh, I love that I added these freckles on her. It suits her quite well, if I do say so myself. I think she looks super adorable with it. And let's see if we could find something party like. Oh my gosh, this is so cute so adorable i love it we have little flowers what is this oh wow more ripped jeans for little toddlers i don't know how i feel about this we could give her little bloomers oh my gosh that's so cute we're gonna give her that and then we'll change her shoes she's seriously so cute she's like a little flower child so 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 cute oh my goodness here is little bella looking absolutely adorable i can't even stand it she's just too cute for words and she has pink eyes i don't know how that happened but i love it nonetheless and then last but not least let's just go ahead and quickly age up bunny to be a young adult here we go oh, she got a little bit more hips <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and see so she is a goofball she is a cheerful and what else should she be i think i'm gonna make her family oriented because she's just really grateful that she is a part of the family even though she was an accident so to speak so we'll make her that and then let's go ahead and age up buddy over here so i had him insane cheerful and he's also a friend of the animals what well, isn't that interesting i think i'm gonna make him a bro as well just because okay so we have bunny we have a buddy and we have bella and let me know if you guys would like for me to change these traits also let me know about that what do you guys think about their traits so she wants to have a big happy family so obviously being family oriented is perfect and now we have little bella so now we can go to the powerpuff household age up all the other powerpuff girls as well and then check up on max and wenji at the end oh my goodness look how cute she is dancing oh she is so adorable so cute she is super happy uh oh but she's gonna get hungry very soon so you know what you should do let's um see if there's anything available in the fridge an empty an empty dish great um that's not gonna work let's go ahead and serve something please quickly okay high energy protein plate what she is feeling really energized so i'm gonna go ahead and have bunny create something so that the poor little one over here doesn't get angry oh my gosh what is this bills oh no bunny can have oh we have one simoleon to our name one simoleon <laughs> um um that's a problem isn't it and we have little bella's birth certificate oh no oh no that is awful and butch is wondering if i want to come over um butch we have one simoleon to our name but you know what yes we will and we will bring our little one with us can we not bring our little one with us are you serious are you serious i can't bring my own child with me um okay let's just invite everybody to come along because why not and hopefully we can take our own child with us because that would be pretty messed up if we can't oh my gosh i just spent all of their money they have what we need to get jobs we need to get jobs like right now <laughs> well 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 here we are hanging out with the family hi i need to go ahead and just uh, quickly uh quickly uh, find a job <laughs> uh yeah we have one simoleon to our name and we can't even pay our bills you know what we might have to do we might have to ask our parents for a loan 
because we literally can't afford anything right now. I just spent all of our money by accident. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a career for Bunny. Well, she is family oriented. Maybe, let's see. You know, if she's a writer, then she could stay at home and then she could take care of her children because she wants to have a big happy family. So I think we'll make her a writer so she could work from home. That would be great. And then for Buddy, I feel like he would be a pretty good detective. But, ooh, what about an astronaut or an athlete? Oh my gosh, that sounds pretty awesome. We're gonna make Buddy an athlete. And then Bunny is a writer. Can we bring Bella over here? There we go, yes. And can we also invite other people over? That would be great. Invite to hang out, there we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can invite everybody in our family. And Bill, we can invite Bill, perfect. Go ahead and do that. Little Bella, little Bella, what are you doing, little one? Let's go ahead and hug her lovingly, bring her into the family. Um, I don't know what kind of house they live in. Uh, uh, this is quite a cozy cottage, I see. But since you're all here, and hopefully everybody will be coming on over. Yes, Wenji is coming over. Look at them being adorable. Okay, perfect. I think everybody is going to be coming very shortly. There's Bliss. Oh no, Bliss was like all sad. Why are you sad, girl? Oh my gosh. And where is Bubbles going? Huh? Where is she going? She's just leaving. Why is she leaving? No, you cannot leave. Okay, before you leave, we need to age everybody up. So let's just quickly, okay, good. We can go ahead and modify her and create a sim, age them all up, hopefully. And uh, we need to all give them, we need to give them all jobs. Like, honestly. <laughs> okay, oh, not everybody can make it over. Professor is busy. I'm hoping that he's at work or something. So let's age up Bubbles into a young adult. And we'll also give her the feminine walk. There we go. So she also wants to be front of animals, just like Buddy. She is outgoing. She is cheerful. And what else do you think she would be? I'm thinking probably creative or probably shy, but there's no like real shy traits, you know? So I guess we'll go ahead and make her good. We can make her good. Yes, we'll make her good. And then we'll go ahead and age up Boomer as well. His default walk style will be the swagger walk. Oh yeah. And he is, uh, he wants to be mischievous. He is a goofball. He is childish and let's see what else should he be i'm trying to think because like the rowdy rough boy should have at least one bad trait do you think these are bad traits i guess it would depend on what you consider a bad trait childish and goofball they could be seen as bad traits or not i don't know not actually sure what he would be so i think we'll probably make him gloomy but you guys can let me know if you would like for me to change that trait but I feel like we need to give one bad trait to all the Rowdy Rough boys, you know what I mean? So, Buddies was being insane, so Boomers is going to be gloomy. Now, I guess we'll just, uh, yes, that is it. We will continue on with another couple. Oh, we have to give them jobs as well. Okay, so for a job for Bubbles, I'm thinking either a fashion designer or a painter. That's the question. You know, because I've, I don't really check this one out too much, let's go ahead and do fashion for her. And then we also need, oh, hi. Are you guys leaving? No, <gasps> no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, we're gonna have to change things up a little bit. But in the meantime, what is he doing? I told him to find a job, seriously. Oh, look how cute they are. Okay, I need you to find a job. Uh, little one, he's saying goodbye to everybody. All right, we'll have to do another event or something so that we can bring everybody over. For Boomer, what would he be? That is the question. I'm gonna make him a secret agent because he could be a potentially a villain, and that sounds pretty awesome. If I do say so myself, whoa, okay, Bubbles is going a little bit crazy right now. And um, is anybody even here? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Did we just get kicked out? Seriously. Um, is anybody home? Hello? Uh, oh, Bunny is still here. Oh, Wenji is here. Liz is here. Fantastic. Alrighty, you guys. So you know who's next? The one and only Buttercup. So let's go ahead and switch on over to Buttercup. Eat her up, give her a job, and all of that jazz. And then we can finally focus on her. Here Hi. is the lovely Buttercup. You know, because she's not really girly, I'm going to give her a swagger walk. Yeah, and um, let's go ahead and age her on up into a young adult. So she wants to be athletic. She is a bro. She is active. So what else should she be? I think 
Honestly, she would also have a bad trait and hers would probably be hot-headed. So we're gonna make her hot-headed as her bad trait. Even though she's a powerful girl and she's good, she's gonna have one bad trait to her. And uh, wow, look at that. Butch is hot-headed as well and he is active. Let's go ahead and age him on up. Give him the swagger walk as well. And for him, since he already has the bad trait, I guess we'll go ahead. You know what would be funny if they had the exact same traits? But <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna make it the exact same traits because they're like two peas in a pod. So they are meant for each other. There we go. So we have Buttercup, we have Butch, and we are finally ready to go ahead and visit them and see how they're doing and all the jazz. Um, a bunny, what are you doing? Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, find jobs. That would be great. Please find a job. All of you, she's getting very angry. Um, Boomer is holding nothing. I don't know what this is all about. And uh, we also need to check up on who else? Oh, Blossom, she left, that's right. Okay, so for Buttercup, because she wants to be athletic, we're gonna make her an athlete, naturally. But I think um, Butch should actually probably be a criminal or a secret agent as well. I think because they could be b villains and I think that would, that sounds really cool to me. Anyway, and uh, you need to be pretty athletic for that anyway. So, whoa, what is she doing over here? She's going crazy. Okay, we need to focus on uh, Blossom next, but in the meantime, what do they know everybody? I hope they do. If not, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to everybody. They don't know little Wenji. Why don't we go ahead and uh, talk to her a little bit? Okay, and finally, we have Blossom and Brick. We can finally age them up as well, give them jobs, and then we can finally have our little family reunion. Here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and age her up into a young adult. Okay. We're gonna give her the feminine walk. Now, she is a nerd brain. She is perfectionist. She is a genius. And what else should Blossom be? Well, we're gonna make her self-assured because she wants to be kind of like, well, she is the leader of the pack. So we're gonna make her that. And then for Brick, let's go ahead and age him on up as well. Let's see here. He wants to be leader of the pack. He is hot headed. He's mean, he has two bad traits. What do you guys think about having two bad traits? I feel like that's a little bit much. How in the world is Blossom able to handle that? I don't even know, but I think we're gonna make him probably self-assured as well because he's a leader in all of that jazz. So I think we'll go ahead and do that for them. So let me know what you guys think I should do in the next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. And if you're new, subscribe to become a mermaid or a merman. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next episode. Bye guys.